Welcome to episode 22 of our Net Zero home. This video series is showing all the amazing Net Zero details in the house of the year. This is our desert comfort experience. We're standing outside at this rock wool. You can see this exterior rock wool. And how does this installation here play a role in this guest casita that is detached from the main house? In our last video that you just saw, we actually referenced the rock wool on the interior, the sound baths that we did. Additionally, this is a key component for the interior and exterior that we're doing for the transportation highway, which will be episode 23, so stay tuned for the transportation highway. Now, as you can see here on the exterior, this is a huge value add. We're standing here, we have this natural preserve, this natural desert. Our client has this amazing piece of land, endless views. In fact, one of our project managers, he's now promoted to our director of operations, Spencer Neal. who's been out here running this project. He came up on the weekend because there's some amazing trails and he's a trail runner. So he was out here running these trails and back here our client has, this is all state protected land so no one will ever build back here. But something to keep in mind is we are in Arizona, we are on the desert. Uh, on occasion there are fires that come through the desert, right? This is, uh, it's a hot area, there's brush as the fire starts. It can quickly move through the desert and now start hitting those homes that back up to the desert. So for this reason, our client elected to go with the rock wool as you see here. Now with the rock wool that we've installed here, this is actually resistant to 2200 degrees, right? So you think of very hot fire, 2200 degrees. Behind that we have the flame block, so you can actually see it above me here in the soffit, this is LP flame block. So we have the rock wool at 2200 degrees, we have the flame block. It creates a really nice protection and barrier from the desert, for, just in case that there's an issue with fire that comes into the property. Additionally, you can see we have two inches of rigid foam here. So this foam, the Rockwell foam that is mounted to the exterior, again, this is gonna be a stucco finish. So this will be waterproof and we have our stucco layer that'll come on the outside. Now, because the house is fully wrapped in Rockwell, it gives us that insulation value. Then on the flip side, as we come into the house, and keep in mind, as we come in, we're installing drywall right now. So this is the messiest part of a construction. You know, going back to uh, our content as we, speak on the podcast and our platform. You know, a big part working with our clients is the emotional roller coaster. We actually have a document called the emotional roller coaster that I give to our clients at pre-construction in the sales process. And this emotional roller coaster walks through all the, the highs and lows, you know, the ups and downs of building. You know, the minute you break ground, it gets very excited for the client. They're super excited. But there are those lulls in the process where, you know, they're not as excited. I can tell them one thing when it comes to site cleanliness, which is really important to us, when you're at drywall stage and you have all the drywall dust and you're installing and they're making all the cuts, it's super messy. But when they come and scrape the house after everything's hung, you know, that's the cleanest it'll be before they start to tape and texture. So right now we're hanging drywall. As we come into the guest casita, we just showed you on the exterior, we have our um, rock wool installed on the exterior. Now these are interior sound bats. So again, this is, if you go back to our earlier video, we talked about the ready frame. This is a ready frame guest casita. Every board in this house was pre-cut. It was pre-designed, it was shipped out, I think of it like a puzzle, and everything was labeled and we put it all together and this entire guest casita went up in one day. And because it's so precise, everything's designed there um, before it's built, before it's cut, before it's shipped out and installed. So we don't have any waste, maybe a little five bucket of waste as opposed to a big dumpster. So there's minimal waste. And now what our insulators love, as you can see here, is that everything lines up perfect, all these cavities. So we have all the rock wool inside, we have the 2200 degree rock will bury on the exterior, so now we have this really tight envelope. Again, you know, our earlier video we talked about ICF, the main house is ICF, this house is ready frame, wood frame. But to get to that net zero, especially with the glass that we have here, you know, our, because the glass, as you can see, is positioned very strategically, here on the north side of the building we have the glass. There's not really any sun exposure. Yes, we have plenty of natural light, but because here in Arizona, you know, the sun's typically throughout the year gonna be south of us, and it's becoming from east to west. We don't have a lot of direct sunlight coming from the north. We really don't have any, so we have this long overhang that protects it. And then with the ready frame and the rock wool, it gives us that energy tight envelope that we need to hit that net zero. So in addition to the guest casita, we're standing here in the garage. One thing I failed to mention in the guest casita, we talked about 
the rock wool on the exterior. Well, the interior rock wool gives you an R38 just on the interior alone without counting the exterior. Same here in the garage. Our garage is R38. This entire garage is insulated. You can see above me, we have the exterior walls. So we have this R38 envelope in the garage, in the guest casita. And then we have the R50 on the roof, on the interior great room with the SIPS trusses. So this really creates this tight envelope again. We have sound bats throughout the interior of the house as you go through the interior. We have Rockwell as a specialized sound bat, so that makes the house extremely quiet room to room. It's really important to do that. Most of our clients will opt to, to select that option, especially around the bathroom and laundry room, you know, for privacy. Uh, typically the master or primary bedroom as well. Uh, when you can, it is great to have every wall in the house with Rockwell sound insulation. It just really creates this nice soundproof barrier for the comfort of our clients. So now let's talk about the transportation highway and how logistically we work through that in the ICF build as well as here even though you can see the drywall above me but we're going to take you to the great room that has not been drywalled so you can see what this ceiling looks like behind the scenes. <music>